Well, he's definitely got the momentum, that's for sure. Look at the face of Chris Landman. He's thinking, why am I still playing? I should be out of here. He's got to summon something from the bottom of his dart case. And something from a tough mentality, which I'm sure he has. But right now, Dave Pauletti has got to be favourite, especially with the throw in the last set. Uh, two down, and uh, it looked as though, well, Landman had it, didn't he? He had his mismatched darts, he had that awful miscount as well. He was poised, and Dave Parletti, you used the phrase earlier on, dodging bullets. He really was doing that. He looked as though he was beaten all the way, but so somehow gentlemen, managed to find a way to cling set. on. First and now he first. has the darts Came in the on. deciding leg. Well, Dave Pauletti has dodged so many bullets in this match so far, he'll probably be cast in the next Matrix movie. 60. Summoning a come on from the first throw, Pauletti. But did that break come at the right time for Chris One Landman? Who? I'm sure it did. Absolutely. He needed to get off and regroup, didn't he? Yeah, I've had a couple of tweets from some Dutch followers, and they've said to me that land in Dutch means country, so in English his... 57. Name means countryman, which is very interesting. So thanks for getting in touch. Hmm. Fifty-eight. How's your Dutch, John? Poor, very poor. Mine's worse than that. But there are always people out there. The, the great gift of social media. We know you're out there following us, and we appreciate your input. Most of it. 140. Now, Landman has started very steadily in this final set. Back comes Paul Lenny. This game has been very intriguing. I thought it was going to be close because of the amount of success that they haven't had on the big stage as of yet 99. in their careers. And it's proved that way. Well, 104, very makeable. 189, Parletti. And making inroads. What's he going to be leaving? Good darts. That's an important one. He reacted. You saw what it means. He's fired up, isn't he? Does he get a shot at double? He doesn't. And Pauletti should from 68. 56. Too right, he should. David requires 68. Pauletti now is favourite to win this one. 16 for double 16. He goes eight tops. 28. No. You heard the Chris clip of the wire, that's how close it was. Landman, in a flash, needs double 16, changes of tactics here. And a Chris good change Landman. as well. See that, oh, you can Second hear the difference in the reaction of the crowd when Landman wins a leg, as opposed to Dave Pauletti winning one. And that was a break of throw. 140. No, I beg your pardon. It was the hold of throw. I was right first time, it is a break. 60. It seems to me like both of these players are doing it the hard way. Landman is trying to win this match from the hardest position. 100. After he's been in the best position, and Parletti's trying to win from two sets to love down. It's just been a fascinating contest. Been a really good match. The twists and turns. I know there are 60. people who are going to be watching and saying, yeah, but it's not averaging 105 or whatever. But that's, that's not what it's about, is it? You know, as a, as a sporting contest, as a match 60. between two decent darters, it's been a real gripping one. I agree. I've always said, give me two decent averages with a variance of hits and misses 100. in a game. That's what makes drama. Get two guys who are averaging 105 and doubles of 85%. That can become boring. One and five. Good dart. One yes, 141 remaining. Still advantage Landman though. Wants to leave double 18. Well, he doesn't get any shot 60. at double. David and now has to rely on Paul Letty not taking out a really big shot. Usually the way the nine darter ends 141 this time not to be 19. Well, 15 darts thrown by both men chris you require double 18 
The shot that you should have had, it's double nine. 27. And it's a miss by quite some way. And again, Pauletti dodges bullets. Uh, it was a twitchy one, wasn't it? Well, he needed single 19. He's lucky to get away with that. This time he gets it for double 16. Yes, yeah, indeed. Leg, Break back. It's almost like he didn't need that first start. I'll just throw it away and we'll take 51 anyway. Third leg is Dave to throw first. It's been a catalogue of expressions yeah. in this match, Sean. Most of the relaxed ones have come from Pauletti. And then all of a sudden, 10 seconds later, he looks edgy as a kitchen knife again. <laughs> Who's your money on now? 100. It is an absolute pick and match. Well, Landman has not been poor on his doubles, but the timing of the misses is absolutely priceless. Maximum count goes in favour of Landman, 6-3. to three. One Paletti though, look at all those hundred pluses he's had. It says to me that far too many times in visits he's had one Easy good dart, one. followed by two questionable ones. All academic now, it's about whose nerve holds and who can get the crucial doubles. 41. Absolutely right. I don't care who you are in the world of darts, after four sets, you're pretty much warmed up. 140. Still nothing between them. Needs another treble. 81. Can't get to a finish. And well, if Landman gets a 140 here, he's in a cracking position. Oh, that's a good last dart. Shanghai will need. Staying up top. 100. Really shoved that last dart. Still not a bad visit, but Landman, Shanghai 20s. Treble he needs. Oh, not that one. Just the wrong 42. side of the wire. Fractions Jimmy away. 79. Will he get two shots at double 11? He will. To take the lead in his double 11. 68. Oh, that's a big miss. Missed it by a fair old way. Is it going to be a third consecutive break of throw? 20 for tops. 38. No! David Just Ryan. north of the wire. You're absolutely right, John. It's about who holds their nerve. Double four for Pauletti. Yeah, and for the very first Pauletti. time in this match, he leads. Four flag is Chris to throw first. Interesting Get to hear on. what he's got to say about it. <laughs> he will be breathing the mother of all sighs of relief if he gets through this. Yeah, four letter word comes to mind. Phew. Is that allowed in Scrabble? It's quite a good scorer, that one. Yeah, get, is it five points for a P? Is it four? Uh, four. One. You know more about it than I do. Good darts. 140. Landman has to hold his throw to get back on level terms, otherwise the match is all over. I feel for Landman at this spot because if he does lose this 57. match, he's not going to sleep tonight. He's going to be thinking about this for a very long time. Uh, we're wandering off the stage to go and boil his head if he loses Hunter. this. He's got every opportunity of taking it to a tiebreaker. One Steady turn from Paul Eddy to stay in touch. Twitchy visit. Just about gets away with it. More cheers on that first and the second dart. Excellent two treble visit. Well, he set himself up now, Parletti, but it can be done. Has it got it in? No, it's just over that wire. So that's the ton. So 104 for the match. Will he get a match dart? He will not. Didn't scare that treble 16 for double 18. And Landman will come back. Two darts at tops, 52. he hopes for. Pressure requires 60. Single 20. He's done that. 
tops now. And yes, nicely done. 2-2. Two, two. Level again. Ladies and gentlemen, the score tied at two sets apiece. Two legs all. The game now must be won by two clear legs. If we go to five legs apiece, the game will be decided in sudden death. So fifth, four fifth leg is Dave to throw first. Game on. You heard it from the referee. It has to be a two-leg advantage to take the match. Otherwise, if it goes all the way to five all, there's the sudden death. Could have a Welsh referee, isn't it? Love a Welsh accent. Do we have Welsh 60. players in the draw, of course? Nick Kenny, Wayne Warren flying that flying that flag very proudly. Jim Williams, of course. The number two seed is from Wales. I wonder if uh, Wayne Warren's daughter's going to be turning up. Her contribution two or three years ago, it went to internet viral, didn't it? Yeah, she was a little vocal. Gave our technical boys all sorts of problems, 46. having to worry about the noise coming from the crowd. It was all mainly coming from one person. Correct. And the noise for one of these dark players is coming for the man in white, not the man in black. And that bounce out, how costly is that going to be for Landman? It was on the bottom wire, that. 45. What a dramatic match. The standard has slipped from earlier on and still it slipped considerably. But that's not what it's about. 46. Tension, drama, best match of the session. Yeah, we've seen three matches where the winner was never really in doubt. But right now it's about who can hold their nerve. Like you said in the last set, John, I can't believe I'm sitting here and it's in this position. Six darts from here and Landman can get a break. But he needs to hit a treble and he's nowhere near. He has left a finish that he's hitting this match so far. Doesn't look like he's going to get it at the moment though, does he? Not at all. Excellent switch from Dave Pauletti, sensibly 90. trying to use that bullseye in 25. But Landman, can he get another? He can't. He's got one and he missed 60. both for another. David so 95 for Parletti, looking down at the 19s. Oh, he's gone the bull route, 25, 70 left. Oh, he's missed the 20, needed that for bull, and he's got one. I don't understand the greed 55. on the treble 20 there. I think the big 20 is the player when you're they a little bit edgy. 110. And Landman can steal if he gets a treble. A double 15. What an interesting play. And 80. it almost paid off. Correction Goodness me, that was score. close. 45 score so tops 55. now for Parletti. Davey required 50. Has to compose himself, breathes again. The tops score was wrong on the graphic, so it is tops. The score was wrong 30. in the arena, I'm being told. Christian required 30. So Parletti is on 20 now by my reckoning game shot on the fifth and that is Landman's break of throw and that's Six what you're craving when it's 2 all in the final set look at that deep breath from Landman huge deep breath he's thinking come on one more hold of throw that's all it takes but he's been in this position at least three times already scores went to awry there and the crowd had difficulty following what was going on but what it means now is that Landman on 401 has the darts now to win the match. He's 3 2 up. 81. You get the feeling that Pauletti is staying alive with that last dart, treble 20. 81. 81 scored. That takes him down to 320. Pauletti on 420. One. That's another ton, yeah, so he's down to 320. It's 320 apiece. Parletti has to win the leg, remember, 96. has to break to keep the match alive. If anything, I think Chris Landman is starting to speed up. 224 for Landman. 60. Now it's 260 for Parletti. So Landman still has that advantage of throw. 94. 94 scored. He's down to 130. Good leave. Yeah, sensible use of the 19s there to leave himself on a more doable three-dot out. 
260 for Parletti turns Richard into 200. And now it's six darts from 130 to take care of the whole thing. Well, he has failed to put it away previously. He can't do it on this visit now. Needed that treble 58. 20 and can't find a treble. So he will come again with 72 needed for the match. He can't get out this position again, can he? Yep. 85. 115 it'll be, but he has 72. to rely on Landman possibly missing another match dart. The Dutchman throwing for the match. Double 16. 40. No, sir. Well, he was very lucky there, Landman, because he nearly busted his score. From 52, he nearly hit the treble 20. Parletti, 15 in tops to survive. 19 for double 18. 36 left. Steps back and breathes. 97. Well, it wasn't a bad dart, but just dragged low. And now Landman again for the match. Double 16. Oh, that's a big miss. Double eight. And he's got it this time. He's got it this time. And finally, having spurned so many opportunities, finally he gets it away. And this time Dave Parletti is thinking, why, oh why, couldn't I hold my nerve? Why am I not leaving the stage a winner? But it is Chris Landman who moves on and wins it by three legs to two. Good match. Well, here's the stats, Paul. Just coming up of the match, and it really fell away so far as scoring and doubles were concerned in the latter stages. As you see by those averages, they were over 90 both at one point, finishing on 84 and 83. Yeah, the first nine uh, dart average in the, the first couple of sets for Chris Landman was up that 105, 106 mark, and he was flying, but obviously that miscount in the fourth set really hurt him, but he had enough in the tank to get the job done. A beautiful 170 finish from Landman, which was a real highlight, but obviously it was an edgy game for both players, and Landman just had a little bit more. The one stat at the top, not quite right. Chris Landman has won that 3-2.